Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. It's a girl. All right. We have this bottom wire hot because the where the top wire is, the horse can just go right under there. That is our little foal. She's a foal until she's one. She's a little girl. And she looks she looks very ragged because that's her now what is that called? It's a baby hair? Hi honey. Yeah, and her winter coat. Baby hair and winter coat combined. And she's shedding. She's shedding the winter coat and she's just getting her final hair. She, we don't know what color she's going to be yet. Maybe you don't she's know. Be a chocolate palomino. Yeah, she's a palomino. So we think she's going to be chocolate or Carmelo. Or Carmelo. Is she walking funny? No. Yeah, she's all leg. So she was born in July. Do you have the birth date? No. Is it on the papers? No. We have to contact them. Oh. Uh, we're going to register her. Uh, she is registerable. She's a quarter horse. Um, what what does Palomino mean? Is That's the color, right? The white mane with the, the different colored body, I believe. White mane with different colored body? We'll have to yeah, look like that up. Gonna be, she's probably going to be like this color. And her tail's gonna stay this white. We've seen some pictures of of the horses that look like that, with their long, real long mane and chocolate body, and the white mane, and they are just gorgeous. Where are you going, Frankie? Yeah, her name is Frankie. Um, she's the newest addition here. I was doing my grass planting yesterday, and these guys wanted to go look at her. So we went and put down a down payment, and here she is, one day later, less than 24 hours later, she lives here. She lives with ducks. So she's less than one year old. When she's one year, she will be a uh, filly until she's three or four. Yeah. And then you need to, well, you have to have her a vet um, tell you she's ready to break. I, was That's for the bones or something? Make mm -hmm. sure she's fully developed. So when she's fully developed, her bones and muscle and stuff, then you break them. That rock really needs to get out of here. Then you break them to a saddle. Um, she's already pretty good with... Uh, well, watch her uh, contradict me. She's already pretty good uh, with ropes and stuff like that. But um, she's a horse, and horses are pretty skittish. They, they'll get spooked over really weird things like uh, a squeaky door or when I close the shed door, she... Uh, she, she was get, asleep, though. Oh, it woke her up. Yeah, that uh, hair, when we looked at her on uh, Facebook or whatever it was, a horse group, um, she looked really ugly, but we knew that she wasn't going to be that way for very long. Natalie's been out here sitting with her and walking her up and down the roads. It doesn't look like she wants to do much right now. It just rained pretty hard, and she was standing right here out in the rain uh, and, like, giving herself a bath. And when she was done with it, she went in the, in the shelter. She knows what a shelter is. She just wanted to get clean. Oh, 
Oh yeah, she was running earlier today, so she yeah she was sweaty. She was sweaty from the trailer because she was. Uh, oh, she nervous. was nervous and scared. They had to trailer her with another man so she would get on the trailer. Um, she's been talking here and there. You could see I, I I'm not sure if you could see, but Mark Mark is looking over here right now. I actually brought her down and she met them across the fence. She met him across the fence. How did they do? Blue is really interested. They both horses were interested in her. I've never seen them both move in unison so well. Like usually, Mark is in front of Blue, but they're just right up next to each other and came right up to the fence to see her. And how did uh, Frankie uh, react to them? She was nibbling at Blue's feet. I don't know what she she it was like. Her mouth was open, and she's like, like going at Blue's face with her little mouth open. And Blue scolded her once, and Frankie backed up and stopped doing it. Um, she was just trying to get some of this nasty old winter coat off. Ooh, does that feel good? So they're born with like a thick, fuzzy coat to it's keep them warm their first year. And they lose that. And that's what's happening now. Her winter, her baby slash winter coat. Yeah, she really doesn't like the brush that much. She isn't used to it. She's never really been brushed that much before. She's just a little baby. Yep, she's learning everything. Look at them tiny little hooves. Those are itty bitty. You've got tiny little feet, little girl. She's going to be a gorgeous horse as she gets older. She actually picks her feet up really well. Let me see if she'll get up. I were tied up here earlier. Is this all her hair in here? Were you brush? Oh, that's right. You had her tied to the. Oh, is that a second? Okay, we flip. Well, just backing up away from me. Yeah. Is well, as soon as you're on camera, she won't do it. Is that your duck poop? Do you like your duck? Yeah, she's a pretty good horse for a, a one-year-old. She, she, yeah, she behaves, she behaves very well for a, what is she, 10 months, you're only 10 months old. You're just a baby. Yeah, you little sweetheart. Yeah, you're a good girl. Good girl. It's a camera, you're on YouTube worldwide people in england and far off places like that are looking at you and they get to watch you grow <laughs> up too yeah she will definitely be a beautiful horse but you really can't tell right now and it's not your fault frankie it's not your fault it's just the way stuff is have you seen her buck or anything yet? She's rode up on me a few times. From when she was tied up, because she's not used to being tied up. And she got scared. Look at all that. So what do you have to do with her um, for training? Well, Are you going to take her in the round pen, or is it just walking her around and getting get used to everything? Right now, she's just getting used to everything. I have to continue to pick her feet up every day and uh, get her used to people touching her face and her not bringing her face away and then taking her putting her halter on and off so she doesn't move from that baby steps right and then i'll go for walks with her every day so she gets used to being in the woods and it doesn't make her spooky yeah and we got to keep her so she's not camera shy and she's not camera shy look at that yeah, she's a nice, nice little horse. What does that smell like? Does that smell like blue mark? I'm going to walk away. Yeah, I don't think, uh, she didn't get as much attention where she was. They, I mean, they were not that they weren't good people. They were really nice people. But uh, the woman we got this from, um, geez, she's like nine months pregnant. <laughs> She's she's really big. So, yeah, I mean, she has other stuff that she had planned on getting this horse and uh, 
and raising it up and uh, then became pregnant with her own baby so she's got some hay stuck to her little cut on her foot hasn't been able to get it off yet oh who is it come go see let's go see come on let's go see That's Mark just called her and she's answering. Is that your friend? Are those your horse friends? <laughs> just little man scared. I need to go home. Is that Mark? Is blue yeah, blue's there too. So when do the horses get put together? Well, We'll have her in here for quite a while because she can go right under the fence. She can't really just be out in the pasture. Oh, because she can get out anywhere. Right. And we probably won't have them meet full time until she can go out into the pasture. But they'll, they'll keep on seeing each other. Like, I'll let them meet across the fence. And then when she is able to go in the pasture, all three horses can meet. And she will go on one pasture, probably right here. She'll have access to this pasture and they'll have access to that pasture. And so they're across the fence from each other, but they're not with each other. And then she'll probably still come in here at night. So that way they can't, like they're less likely to break through this fence than they are to break through that fence in case they're doing anything crazy, especially if we close that off and they have two fences to break through. And then- Do we'll we need to put another, another wire around one of the pastures? We might. A lower wire? Probably because she's not going to be able to be locked up this whole time. Probably like the one up there or something, because we're going to be doing that one soon. We could do it all at one Ah, uh, but that one doesn't have a shelter. This yeah. this one would be better for that. Yeah. And you can divide you can divide this and just put the double one on on one half. on half of it. All right, and these little things, dogs love these. Izzy, Izzy tries bringing these in once in a while. Those are from the farrier that's hoof and they smell just horrible. Yeah, those are terrible. Okay. So that's our new baby. Her name is Frankie and she's a, whoa, she just shocked herself. I was right. right behind her. You all right? Oh, it's okay. Come on. Come on. What happened? What happened? I got this. I got this. I got this. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's still learning about electric fences. I don't know how many times she's done it, but she's shocked herself a couple times. They learn. Well, that's going to wrap up this meet and greet. Our new baby, Frankie. She is a foal for another two months, and then she will be a filly for a couple years. And then uh, after that, Natalie will be riding her, and uh, she might be, we might breed her because she's going to be a beautiful horse, but... So make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon so you can watch the progress with Frankie here. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps us out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.